Welcome to this EGDIS training video on ENC chart scales. Never use an overview ENC for coastal navigation. Good morning, mates. Good, Good morning, morning, Captain. Captain. Hello, mates. It's a fine day. How about some OJT today? For today's discussion, let's discuss EGDIS ENC purpose and scales and the importance of navigating with the appropriate ENCs. International Hydrographic Office IHO, has categorized ENCs based on six kinds of navigational purposes. These are overview charts, general charts, coastal charts, approach charts, harbor charts, and berthing charts. When using ECDIS, it is important that the mariner understands the basic differences of the information displayed on a small-scale ENC and large-scale ENC. Let us look at the significant differences by comparing an overview and larger-scale ENC. As we compare these two charts, it is seen the overview ENC is nearly blank in comparison to the larger-scale ENC. As we zoom in, it is clear the details in an overview chart is grossly insufficient for safe navigation. Yes, sir. Even after zooming in, it is clear that there is no useful information for safe navigation. See how much detail is lacking on the overview ENC when we overlay the large-scale ENC on it. The whole landmass was missing on an overview chart. The whole port is not showing on the overview chart. That's a huge difference, sir. The small-scale ENCs lack lots of details. I will never use an overview ENC, even for planning a coastal voyage. Now let us take a closer look on what could happen if anyone plans and navigates a coastal passage on an overview ENC. Second mate, can you please plot a route using the overview chart only, just for our simulation? I, Captain, will do the route plan on an overview chart, sir. Here you go, sir. We are passing 1.34 nautical miles north of the light. We should be well and clear. As you can see, the passage planned on an overview ENC appears to show the passages clear from the navigation hazards as mentioned by second mate. Now, let us see how the same passage appears on a large-scale ENC. Oh my God! The coastline runs through an island. It can be disastrous! Well observed, second mate. You will see right away the dangers on a large-scale chart. So, mates, as you can see, coastal passages must never be planned or executed on an overview ENC. As you have seen, an island is actually there. But it's not entirely visible on the overview chart. And even more dangerous is that the soundings are marked on the chart in different places. And notice that even the shoals too are in different places and lack the details that are in a large scale chart. So mates, let me repeat again, coastal passages must never be planned or executed on an overview ENC. So please keep in mind the basic rule, that is, to plan a safe passage all appropriate ENC scales, especially large-scale ENC, should be used. That's quite an eye-opener, sir. Thank you for raising our awareness. Thank you so much, Captain. 
Goodbye for now, mate. Let's do some more OJT next time. Wishing you smooth sailings and safe voyages. This is Captain MOL signing off. Bye for now.